You two live? Well, give it a second. I think we might have it. Maybe not. Go back to the main web page. Try that. There Ooh. we go. Yeah. Uh-oh, that's been going the whole time. <laughs> I think we're live. So I want to get the sound down. Technology, you guys, we're learning. Thank you for your patience. Can we go to YouTube so I can see comments? So here's the deal. If you're watching on our main page, if you go down to the, once you've started it, if you go down to the bottom right um, hand of the box, I believe there's a YouTube and you can hit that and then I can take questions. So um, we're trying to get there. Should we go to our main page, John, and then do it? Man, I'm glad I'm not doing this alone because I'd be freaking out right now. There's some. Oh, hi. Okay. Okay, good. We're getting some people. Yay. Thanks, you guys. But now we got to get over to YouTube. Oh, right there. Oh, you're there. Okay, I'm there. Okay. So, Go. yay. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for coming today. We're going to be doing this um, at different times just to see what's popular um, today. Actually, tomorrow, we're throwing a birthday party here. Um, Lennox is almost going to be two, so we're having a ton of kids here, and um, we're doing it before her birthday because her mom, my daughter Adair, is going to deliver in three weeks. Uh, she's here in the backyard, and you might hear them. They were gonna come in. Oh, good, 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 good. You can see, and it, you can hear too. Okay, she was gonna come in, but she doesn't have any makeup on, so she said no. But I wanted to show you, um, before I get into quilty stuff, something really cool that we figured out for this birthday party that you might want to do for any party you have. Okay, so the theme of the party is bubbles, all right? So we've got um, all sorts of bubble stuff that the kids can play with tomorrow. But in decorating, we were like, okay, what could we do that's bubbly? And initially... Uh, we were going to go to the fabric store and see if we could find some bubble fabric. And um, I went, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I am so smart. So see all these? These? I cut these out on my AccuQuilt. But what I did, before, and so the idea is you can take the back off and then stick it to the tablecloth, and I'll show you how in a minute. The idea is that you can take these and put it everywhere, tablecloth, cups, windows, etc., and it sticks like magic. So how did I do it? I gotta keep touching the screen, it's getting dark. I went and used my Apple Stick by Quilter Select. I ironed it on the back of fabric. It's a repositionable fusible. And then once I ironed it onto the back, I took it to my Go, or my, actually my studio, and just cut out all these different sizes. And then, so this one's been cut out. Then what I did was, or my daughter and I did, was we peeled off the back, and it sticks, so you can just stick it on everything. And so again, I've got all of these, and we're going to, we have white tablecloths, and we're just gonna stick them on, we're not gonna iron it. But then when the party's over, we can just pop it off and throw the tablecloths in the wash, and there you go, we can use them for something else. So think about it, you could do any shape in the world your heart desires. And I mean, if you have um, a cutter that is, you know, if you have hearts, you can just cut it by hand, you could cut zigzag. Okay, it says the sound is not synchronized with my mouth, and I don't know how to fix that. Um, is anybody else having that issue. Barb said she's having that issue. Sue or Tara or Terry or Carla, can is it synced for you guys or not really? And if it's not, I don't know what to do about it. So, um, sorry, technology, what are you going to do? So anyways, as I mentioned, my daughter's expecting in three weeks and last Last streaming, I showed you the mobile that I made for William's room. I wanna show it to you again because I have the finished quilt and the quilt goes with the mobile. So let me go grab the mobile. So cute. Nautical is the theme. So like I showed last week, 
it's got like a captain's wheel and then it's got the little these are little felt boats that i sewed up by hand real super easy uh-oh i lost one these are teethers and it looks like one fell off so i'm gonna have to secure those better so these are little rubber teethers that i got off of etsy john it's not synced do you know how to do that we don't know how to do that, you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, it's off. No, it's not synced. Not sync. Yes, it's not synced. I wonder, okay, this is going to be interesting if it's something that kind of the machine just gets together. And I know this is irritating that it's not synced. I'm sorry. We don't know how to fix it. So anyways, I want to show you what you do. I don't know how to make it sync. He doesn't know how to make it sync. Yikes. So anyways, I want to show you, it says it isn't synced here either. Picture comes before sound. Oh, well, I don't know. Anyways, just, well, you can't close your eyes and watch, but anyways, I want to show you the quilt. I love this. This is, you know how they won't let their babies actually sleep under quilts. So the room really wasn't decorated. So we decided to make this to go over his crib. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that cute? Angela Walters did the quilting on it. Let me see if I can get it in so you can see the quilting. It's quite phenomenal. Look at that. So all I have left to do on this is to sew the sleeve down. But I got to get busy because we got to get that room pulled together. And I love the red anchor on the quilt the way it matches with the anchors on the um, mobile. So... The big deal, that's personal stuff. The big deal is that um, last week I got the box of my RJR fabrics with my uh, new collection Mirage. And so I have not opened the box. I'm gonna need John in here to lift the box up and I'm gonna cut into it. And I get about five yards of each piece. John, can you come here please? I mean, this thing is heavy, so we're gonna, we're going to kind of try and move things a little bit so that you can see. Um, the Mirage, I wanted to do, here we go. Are you going to hold it, John? Are you going to hold the camera? Sure. Okay. Um, I wanted to do something pomegranate. So um, in the Jewish... Around this way. Um, in the Jewish culture, they love pomegranates. What you doing, babes? Oh, <laughs> with the cameraman. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Sheesh. What's that? There we okay. go. Good. There we, go. we had a moment of panic here. Anyways, so um, comes like this, super duper heavy. All right. And I want to make see, and I can't see on YouTube now if they're talking or not. We'll get back to that in a minute. This is, this, I tell you what, people, this is like Christmas Day. I mean, it just, woo! So, okay, so in the Jew Jewish culture, a pomegranate has like 633 seeds, and I'm not sure if that's the number, but you're supposed to do 633 good deeds, like purposeful good deeds in your life. So the way I look at it is that if there's something I really don't want to do, I go, up oh, there goes a pomegranate seed. So I wanted, I wanted to do um, a collection around that. Oh, Okay, so here's the thing. I should, probably maybe should have opened it. Comes with all these old bolts. Let's go for the main in here. John, are you digging in here? Are you in here? Mm hmm Hmm. Oh, here are the mains. Okay, let's take these apart. I need my scissors. Okay. So here is the main pomegranate. And it comes with a navy blue, blue background and a white background. And then this is what you would call the second main or whatever, the, the one that goes with that, like that. So 
that's these. That kind of started the whole thing. And then I'm pretty happy with what I call, I guess I'm just gonna throw them on the floor, the, the following prints or the leaders because everybody can't be a leader. What did I do with my, here we go. Oh, and I have to tell you something, I have sample yardage and I've already done a quilt that there'll be a free pattern for, but it's at the Pattern Writer right now. It'll be at our, on RJR site and probably Quilter Select site. I love, love, love these leaves. Let's see how that looks with the mains. Here, let's look at this here. I mean, look at that. Oh, okay, so that goes on the ground. Then here's a stripe. Every collection has to have a stripe in my book. Oh, I see my little grandbaby. So here's this, this, this. Oh, there's some two different stripes here. So we've got this stripe and then this stripe and then we have this stripe. Baba's in here. Then I have, whoa. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this box. Hold on. Can you grab that? She's calling us. There we go. Okay, so then here's some polka dots. Love these polka dots. This, um, one of these polka dots was on my rare bear. Maybe some of you saw it last week. So these, these. <laughs> and then you always have to have one that's kind of like the backup dancer and that's this so let's see how it looks with this one here where is this one you guys are probably having a cow that I'm throwing all this stuff on the floor but I don't know what else to do here where's the light background hmm I don't know. I got a mishmash going on here. Look at that floor. Total mishmash. Okay, so that is the open the box. And you can see why perhaps I don't do that. Oh, here it is. Here is what I'm looking for. Look at that. I love that. I love, love, love that. So let's see if we can get this back here, John, and I can get on YouTube. I don't know when it's gonna ship in stores, but I, I think um, this. I mean, this falls sometime. So that's that. I want to get to YouTube, honey, so I can see stuff before I move on. Yay! Okay, so the name of the line is Mirage. All right. Um, so again, there'll be a free pattern, and I had to, again, I had to get it off to the pattern maker so I couldn't keep it to show you because I wanted to show you but you'll have to see when it's done. The other thing I talked about last time I want to show the back now. Um, at Quilting in the Garden which is the fourth weekend of September in Livermore, California at Alden Lane Nursery there's going to be an exhibit, an Yvonne Purcella exhibit, um, quilts inspired by, made by other quilt makers like there's 60 of us so there's a certain size. This was my friend, sorry if you're, it's a repeat customer from last time, but there that is. But the thing about Yvonne that you have to know is that she was very spiritual, big time into the Catholic Church. So I put um, my Lady of Guadalupe fabric, but then each one, let me get it in there, I just sparkled the you know what out of it with beads and sequins. It was so much fun to do. So um, I don't know where else these are gonna show besides at Alden Lane, but there's talk that they may even be auctioned for Sakwa um, in memory of Yvonne, and that would be the Studio Art Quilt Association that she started. The other thing that I promised last time, and this thing is crooked, the camera, um, is what's going on on my design wall because I was sitting in front of it. Um, my scissors are in, oh, this is a little, Okay, so let me turn this. I want to turn this around and show you what I'm working on. And let me zoom it in. Uh, there. Okay. 
So let me go over there. Every year at Alden Lane, I, I guess I can't go that far away. Every year at Alden Lane, I uh, do a three-day class. And the students are always challenging me to do something different. So this next time, and I don't, I don't even know when the class is going to be, to tell you the truth. It'll be in like probably March or something like that. I came up with a class that's going to be called Triangle Triangle Tangle. And it'll, in that class, you'll learn the shortcuts on how to do different triangles, like hourglass, flying geese, half square triangles. And so in making this sample, I just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then um, it actually, I had just the inner border done with the applique and then Freddie Moran, dropping some names here, is in my mini group. She said, well, on the outer border with the applique, loosen it up. So I loosened it up and then I decided that I needed these little birds to be applique on the edge. And these are finished applique. I did it the way that Arosa does it from Spain with their apple sticks. And in oh, fact, apple quip, apple, apple quick sticks. Uh, I call them my chopsticks. I did that, do it, did it her way using my quilter select glue and then this paper that 50% washes away so I don't have to take it out. Um, oh, and we did tape a show with Rosa that will be coming out next year that was, I learned how to use those tools in ways that I didn't even know how. So my little project that was supposed to be a class sample has turned into that mammoth quilt that I've just shown you. And as soon as I get done tearing around, I will um, finish that quilt. I will applique the outside borders before I sew them on. Um, otherwise, it's going to be too big, even with my larger bed machine. And the other reason I decided to do finished applique was I'm using a lot of shot cottons. And I was concerned that if I did raw edged fused applique, it would just be a mess and it would um, unravel. So, no, that's okay, John. So here's the, th anybody got any questions on that quilt that was on the wall? Um, go big or go home, Sue Norton says, love that. <laughs> so um, anyways, here's the deal. At Quilting in the Garden this year, I'll be selling um, product. I mean, I love this one little book called, um, oh, I can't, I wasn't prepared, so I'm not gonna show you. Anyways, I'll be selling different things of mine and this and that. But I don't know if um, you would believe this, I have too many quilts. And not all my quilts are the heirloom quilts that the kids are gonna fight over. I have what I would call working quilts, quilts that are for books, patterns, etc. And I decided that at this year at Alden Lane, I'm going to start unloading some of my quilts. Um, they, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna keep them all under $500 unless it's hand quilted, but I gotta touch the screen so it stays live. I haven't chosen any hand quilted ones to go yet. I don't know if I can quite bear to do that, but I went through my quilts and in a matter of a half hour, um, I had quilts. So John, why don't you hold some up behind me and I'll show you some of the quilts. And some are small, this one's medium. This, this was from, let's see, I'll go, I'll go this way. You can bring it a little bit. This is from um, my Simply Stars book, and it has the little isosceles triangle in the square. I love this quilt. I think it's really uh, quite charming. So that one's gonna go. And let me tell you, it was hard for me to decide on some of these. Okay, then here's another one. Um, this next one was, I think, from my kids' book, and I'll probably price them according to size. I mean, you know, like this won't be that much. I just, it's time to go. And actually, I did keep some of the quilts for um, baby gifts for kid, uh, my children's friends and stuff. So this is from the kids' book. Um, next one, John? I'm not gonna go through all of them. Not that top one. Let's go down to the next one. I have a ton of basket quilts. <laughs> Someone said too many quilts. How can that be possible? I, it's possible. Um, this was, I believe, a pattern. No, that was for a fabric line that I did with um, P&B, and that ended up as a pattern in a magazine. I think that's really sweet. Let's see more. Oh, this other one is from Simply Stars, and it was the first time I ever worked with purple, and I 
I didn't really like purple, but I gotta tell you, I think it turned out pretty nice. And I don't know, I think maybe Sue Rasmussen quilted that, or maybe I did, that looks like my kind of quilting. Let's see, let's do one more. So if you're gonna be a quilting in the garden, um, I will have them there. Oh, this one's killing me to get rid of. I may change my mind on this one. This was from my baby book, baby quilts book, and come for it's all neutrals, and I call it like grandma's favorite. And I was saving this for a most special baby, and I didn't know who, and then when I took it out yesterday, I thought, who's gonna put a baby on neutrals? Okay, get real, Alex. <laughs> okay, and then one more, one more. Oh yeah, I like this one a lot too. See, like ones like this will be a little bit more, and then the simpler ones will be a lot less, but this is all finished edge, I think this is all finished edge applique. Don't, wait, is this by hand? No, machine. So I, I love this. I, you know, I'm not gonna let go of that one. That'd be a good class. So that's the problem. I get in my giveaway mood, and then, um, and then it's like, no, but don't you think that'd be a good class? I think I need to hang on to that one. Hi, here, yeah. Yeah, that one's staying. <laughs> Maybe after my class. <laughs> Maybe I'll teach that class at Alden Lane. So, um, anywho, you, John wants another one. Oh, this one has a really bad binding. That alone will knock down the price. Somebody needs to redo the binding. I think that's adorable. But I think I had to finish it in a hurry and I just sewed it down by machine and I did a pretty bad job. <laughs> hey, at least I didn't glue it down. I mean, I've been known to do that. So, anywho, um, thanks, John. That's kind of what's going on here. Tomorrow's going to be wild. Um, like I said in the beginning, I think 35 kids. I don't know how many adults. Uh, Bubble Land, USA. And then the next day, um, one of Adair's best friends is taking her out, not for giving her a shower, but they call it a sprinkling. And that's just where like a hand, like five people are invited and you just go and have this special um, time with your daughter before she has that baby. I have to tell you, little Lennox, my granddaughter, is not going to know what hit her. She is not going to know. She's going to be two about three weeks after he's born. And the only reason we're having this party now is that her friends said it would just be wrong on so many levels to not have a birthday party for her. Uh, next year, I'm sure the two will have the party together. Um, it's just totally fun stuff. And, um, we're, oh, Deb, hey, I'll see you at Quilting in the Garden. Um, next weekend, we're going down um, to a wedding. And so we wanted to try this on Friday to see what the response would be. I know that Sunday is a more optimum time, but I'm just looking at everything coming forward, like um, the wedding, quilting in the garden, retreat, a baby being born. And so we're just gonna try these different times. And so I hope this was not too inconvenient for you. Um, okay, do you guys have any questions here? I'm looking at the question thing. 35 kids, so it need at least 140 adults, four per kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last year, there were 100 people in my backyard, and my daughter wisely did not even tell me. People, I do not live in a palatial mansion, okay? I don't. Um, and right now, this house is turned upside down and inside out. But you know what? These are the good old days. Somebody gave me that sign, gosh, 30 years ago in our marriage. These are the good old days. And boy, don't you know it. So um, I'm looking for any questions. I appreciate all your comments. Um, Candace, I feel like we are just sitting in the same room. Okay, how did we design on the color lines for your fabric? Um, I'll tell you how I did. Let me have, let me have, I'll tell you a little secret. No, I want the other main, that one down there. The one on the bottom, that one, yeah. Because this started the whole thing. Um, this is the one that really started it. I love color. And the lines that I've done with RJR up to now have been fairly understated. In particular, I love colors from Mexico. 
And so I was, I'm working with uh, Mimi, who we went to college together with. She can get it on the computer and we work together. I don't know how to do, get it on the computer and make the repeats and all that. And we start scooting around the internet and we start looking at colors, or I do, and then I go, I send her something and I go, these are the colors I love. And so then working together, we could plop them in on this. So then she said, and this is probably, this is interesting. This is probably my favorite of the whole thing right here. But the quilt, she said, we need to have one with a light background. So then this is what we came up with. The quilt that is at the Pattern Writer right now, it doesn't even have this fabric in it, which is crazy when you think about it. So then once you get the main, and let's look at this one, it's easier to look on here. Um, when, when you get the main, then you start looking at components within the main and then that's how you come up with your backup dancers. Um, then there are things like, okay, polka dots, we got to throw those in, stripes, we got to throw those in. And, and I, I don't know what I would do without Mimi because she can make the magic happen on her computer. Um, little did we know when um, we took roller skating class together in college at Chico, or where we were roommates or uh, next door dorm mates that we would end up working together and it is so much fun. Okay, um, colors, do it when you fit your schedule. It might be a little early for Hawaii viewers, fine for me. Um, thank you. Uh, oh, okay, here's a, good, here's a question from Live the Life. If I use fleece as a backing, I, I don't use batting. So sew the top and the backing together um, you could do that. You may want, hey, by the way, if you're new to quilting, yay that you're here because there's a plethora of information on our site and in the forum, you may take advantage of the generous people there that will answer questions. Okay, number one, I have used, I have used Minky for a backing, I have used Flannel for a backing, and I still put in a batting, but um, I bet if you asked in the forum, you'd get different answers. Um, you could also just put in a thin layer of flannel or something like that. I'm, you don't, you know, it's your quilt. You can do whatever you want. I'd say the main thing to do is make a little sample out of the two fabrics and just see what happens. See if it has enough um, substance to it. I mean, I, I don't know if this is something that's true or not, but there are these quilts that we call summer quilts. And I don't know if it's something that's made up or if they really exist, but they're just a quilt made out of cotton on top and cotton on the back and nothing in between. So really, the great thing about quilting is you could do whatever you want to do. Um, teach that class in Michigan. I'm gonna tell you something right now. I had a ball in Michigan. Um, I've been to two stores there. I've been to Ann Arbor and I've been to um, Cherryland. I'm doing a a uh, uh, brain freeze. What's um, what's yeah? No, in Michigan. Uh, um, no, not Ann Arbor. I went. Yeah, I went to Ann Arbor, and then I. It's on the water, straight across from Door County. Help me out here. Help me out here. Anyways, I'm coming back to Michigan. I love Michigan. Chris's store. I'm Chris's store. Help me out, you guys. Um, anyways, I'm coming back. I don't know when. Um, I will tell you something very personal right now. Uh, I have elderly parents and um, they're battling, they're still independent living. My dad's 93, maybe you remember him from Simply Quilt. So my mom's 90 and they're starting to get into issues. So I don't feel confident being on the road as much as I have been on the road for right now. Uh, I am the only child, I live a mile from them, we have help, but it's not like I'm gonna go back to back to back to back places. I just, it doesn't feel good in my stomach. So I'm being very selective when I go and where I go. Okay. Oh, here someone said, uh, Thea said, I've used flannel as a batting with very good re Yeah, with very good results. Yeah, Traverse City. Duh. That was so much fun. So much fun. Um, and then Barb said she has two quilts from her husband's grandma from Tennessee, and they don't have any batting, but she thinks there's flannel inside. Um, and, then, and then Zeke said, I'd rather use cotton batting or something like that. So here's the thing. So uh, Live the Life, the new quilter, here, you've just put it out here and we've gotten comments from people and you will get that on the forum. So the other thing I want to tell you is that next year our block of the month is by Sue Garman 
and um, the top is finished. It is simply spectacular, and we will be debuting it around Houston um, on the internet. We uh, will not be having a booth at Houston for personal reasons, and I've kind of gone through some of it. I, Ricky will be there teaching. I will be there teaching. Um, by the, by the grace of God, I will be in the Quilter Select slash Floriani booth. So um, we will be revealing it on the internet. I know you're going to want to do it. It's absolutely, fantastically beautiful. And also at Quilting in the Garden, there will be a Quilter Select booth. And so you may, when you see the mats and rulers and all that cool stuff, you'll want to know. Uh, you'll probably want to get it. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, um, my mom told me that her grandpa used newspaper as batting in his quilts back in the 20s and 30s. Yeah, I, I can believe that. I can believe that. So anyways, um, my house is perfectly torn apart and uh, I, I should show you this. This is pretty funny. I mean, this is just one portion of it. Let me share you a portion of it right here. Let me just go around this room. It is a pigsty in here. Absolute pigsty. Yep. So, I gotta turn this thing around. When you see beautiful shots of people's studios, that's not what it's like. Okay, so you guys, this has been fun, um, great fun. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your schedule to be with me. And I know, John, oh, I, John has a closing for me, okay? So it's been beautiful. Um, <laughs> it's been fun. And uh, we're gonna try different times, like I said, and normally I know the optimum time is on Sunday. So um, just is not possible for about the next three weeks or four weeks. So here is, here is, um, John wants me to close out on my fabric line. He's marketing for me. I do love this leaf print. So you guys, thanks so much. And I don't quite know how to hang up on this, John. This is, so how do I exit out? Okay. Hey, have a have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.